It's now time for the VIC Video News Crime Watch for the week ending November 18th, 2022. We begin in Trinidad, where thieves purportedly returned electronics and other goods stolen from a local freight forwarding company. On Tuesday morning, a security officer on duty at the Trin City Business Park compound of WebSource was accosted by five armed men who tied him up and proceeded to rob the warehouses of some 250,000 TT dollars worth of goods. The bandits cut through several metal doors and loaded multiple packages into two company vans before fleeing the scene. Later that morning, the vans were discovered empty and abandoned at different locations in the community of Laventil. WebSource CEO Lincoln Maharaj said 12 televisions were stolen along with iPads, car parts, and clothing. Acting head of the Port of Spain Division of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, Roger Alexander, issued a warning to the thieves during Tuesday's edition of Beyond the Tape, a daily program of the TTPS. Later that day, garbage bags filled with items were dropped off at Express House in Independence Square, where Beyond the Tape is filmed. However, the items in the bags were not the ones stolen from WebSource. Quote, they were clever enough to send garbage, Maharaj told local outlet Newsday. Instead of televisions and iPads, the returned items included Christmas decorations, a playpen set, a printer, and stationary items. The WebSource CEO says he plans to reimburse affected customers once they can prove that their packages had been stolen, even if they had opted not to insure their items. Maharaj says he will be issuing checks from his own funds, which he would replace once his insurance pays out on the claim he plans to submit. Reimbursement checks were scheduled to be delivered from today, Friday. In Grenada, a 20-year-old man is in court charged with two counts of robbery with violence and money laundering. Shamoy Fahi appeared before Chief Magistrate Teddy St. Louis today, Friday, charged in connection with the robbery of a MoneyGram outlet in the town of St. George on Monday this week. He reportedly absconded with nearly 16,000 EC dollars. Fahi's court appearance comes on the heels of two other Grenadian young men facing similar charges. Raynel Coutain and Ronaldo George, both 22, are alleged to have robbed a shipping agency in the south of the island on November 8th. On the day in question, two armed, masked men entered the business place demanding money and threatening violence against a worker. They made off with a significant sum of cash. Kutain and George were subsequently arrested but absconded from police custody and were on the run for a few days before being re-apprehended. They were jointly charged with four counts of robbery with violence and were granted bail on Tuesday in the sum of $100,000 each. Fahi was also bailed for $100,000. All three defendants were made to surrender their travel documents and must report to authorities daily. On St. Vincent, a man is in custody assisting police with investigations following the chopping death of a fellow villager. Glenroy Primus and Hilton Thomas, both of Mariagua, were reportedly involved in a long-running dispute. At about 1.30 a.m. on Wednesday, Thomas returned home from a nearby shop and spotted Primus. Primus reportedly accused him of coming home from a night of thievery, which prompted an argument between the two. Primus is accused of leaving his yard, approaching Thomas and chopping him several times with a cutlass. Thomas was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigations continue pending a post-mortem to determine an official cause of death for Thomas. In Jamaica, a mass shooting has left two men dead and four other people, including a nine-month-old baby, nursing gunshot injuries. The shooting happened on Wednesday night in the parish of St. James. 31-year-old Delano Christie was at his shop playing dominoes with others when a group of gunmen opened fire. The six people injured in the shooting were rushed to hospital, but Christie and 26-year-old Jordan Brown succumbed to their injuries. The baby and the other three injured persons were admitted for treatment. The shooting comes less than 48 hours after the government implemented a state of public emergency in St. James and six other parishes across the island in its latest effort to curb Jamaica's spiraling crime problem.